Shabbat Shalom, family. Trump says the U.S. will pull out of a new treaty with Russia that limited numbers of missiles. This article came out October 21st, 2018. President Donald Trump says Saturday he will pull out of a cold era treaty with Russia that limited the number of missiles in each country. Trump said Moscow had violated the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty and he will halt the agreement. We're going to terminate the agreement. We're going to pull out, Trump said, when leaving a rally in Nevada afternoon, Saturday afternoon. And then we're going to develop the weapons. Unless Russia and China agree to a new deal through, though China isn't currently part of the agreement. Russia has violated the agreement and they have been violating it for many years. The president said, and we're going not to let them violate a nuclear agreement go and go out and do weapons, and we're not allowed to. Trump made the revelation, and the national security advisor, John Bolton, was headed to Russia. His first stop was scheduled in Moscow, where he met with Russian leaders. For most of the Cold War, U.S.-Russian summits were dominated by the issue of nuclear weapons with the presidents Nixon, Carter, Reagan reaching a series of incremental agreements to the limited number, size, and location of each side's nuclear arsenal. The Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty was one of those agreements and is set to expire next two years. The 1987 pact helps protect the security of the U.S. and its allies in Europe and Far East, and it prohibits the United States and Russia from possessing it, producing or testing flying a ground-launched cruise missile with a range of 300 to 3,400 miles. It also covers all land-based missiles, including those carrying nuclear warheads. Trump announces Drew of the IR anti-nuclear proliferation group like the international campaign to abolish nuclear weapons, ICANN, which won Nobel Peace Prize in 2017 for his work to draw attention to the catastrophic, excuse me, catastrophic humanitarian consequences of any use of nuclear weapons. In a statement, ICANN director Beatrice condemned the move by declaring that he will leave the INF Treaty. President Trump has shown himself to be a demolition man who has no ability to build real security. Instead, by blowing up the nuclear treaties, he's taken down the U.S. a trillion dollar road to a nuclear arms race. All right. Um, let's go down. It says that the... the um, the landmark treaty helped lead to the destruction of thousands of missiles and simmer tensions during the Cold War. Right? So, one of the weapons defense said Russia was creating an intercontinental nuclear armed torpedo that can travel thousands of miles and strike U.S. coastal cities with minimum warning called the Status 6 Oceanic Multipurpose System. The Russian torpedo is reported to be able to deliver a thermal combat of 100 megatons. The weapon could trigger a tsunami wave or radioactive water that could blanket a coastal city. And it's called the, the torpedo a doomsday weapon. President said the advancements, including those by China, were unacceptable. Um, you guys, this thing says it could cause a massive tsunami. Um, <laughs> hello. Um, you guys. Wow. I mean... This is just crazy.